Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue where we left off last time. Uh, we're going to be continuing with chapter 2 of the Bratsky's book, uh, Gary Bratsky. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do some canage edge detecting. It's, it is a very useful technique, especially when you're trying to uh, either track objects or uh, do license plate recognition, for example. And, uh, and there are many, many possibilities that you can use this te detection technique. But let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi. And I already created a folder to uh, to make this tutorial shorter because I'm going to be doing this in C++ and we're going to also do it in Python. Uh, we might have to do the Python in another tutorial because I'm trying to keep these tutorials short. So what we're going to do is find a folder that I created called Tutorial uh, 10. And in this folder in this directory what I have is what I have in, uh, in every other tutorial. Uh, we have the CMake list uh, text file that we've been using in every one of our tutorials. We have the, the image that we're going to be uh, dealing with, detecting. We have the C++ file and we have the Python file that we're going to uh, do for the Python uh, version of the program. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, I'm going to show you the code for the for the CMake, so you you can see it. Nothing, nothing different. We've been doing it uh, in everyone. It's just uh, the project name it has to be the same with this one, and then the the file that we're using and the libraries. Okay, everything the same. And the code is the the code in uh, in Gary in chapter two of Gary Bradsky's book, and it's this one right here. And what let me explain a little bit the code is uh, this is I explained that to you, to you uh, in what, last tutorial I believe IPL image is 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 equivalent to MAT but object oriented uh, and a lot more. Uh, this one. Uh, Matt is object oriented, this one is not. Okay. Um, this is more when you use the C API and it's found mostly on older code and mostly on embedded devices code. Um, this is the the high thresh, low thresh, the aperture, aperture, and then uh to peer down right here. And these are the, the main one right here because you're going to be seeing it right here. As you can see, let me show you. Uh, these are the input parameters right here. This line right here, and this line right here. Where's the other one? It's the out, the, the 10, the 100, and the 3 is these guys right here. The in, the out, low thresh, high thresh, and the aperture. Aperture I believe is default. He's using the default. Yep. And um, uh, he's doing the peer down that we did in the last tutorial right here. And we're gonna show you. Okay. So he's what he's going to do is he's gonna take the image He's going to create a peer down on it right here. And then after he creates the peer down, he's going to do the canny edge uh, detection algorithm. And he's going to show it right here. Okay. But you can go, if you're following along with the book, you can read uh, that chapter. It's a very important chapter. That's why I'm taking the time to do these tutorials, because it's a, it's a very important chapter. So let's run it. Uh, see, make. And it's compiling. And 
is done and now make it might take a little bit longer because uh, it's really slow today because I'm I'm doing uh, I'm doing a build in another from another computer into the Raspberry Pi so it's gonna it has slowed it down a little bit uh, it's a lot slower so uh, hang tight it should be done soon done okay and we see it we see the one the files that were created like in every other tutorial and this is the executable right here so now we're gonna run it and run and it's a picture of a building actually it was fast faster than I expected it to be and as you can see this is the canny you can see the edges this is the pier down. It went from by a factor of two down, as we have done. Uh, it did it twice, as you can see it if you remember from the last tutorial. And then it went. Uh, it did a canny edge detecting on this uh, on this one right here. Okay, but this is the C plus uh, plus. In the next tutorial, we'll be doing the Python. We're going to be doing the same program but in Python and I will see you next time. Uh, like always, if you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you. Thanks for watching.